Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to try to repair my car battery using the Hasido 20 amp smart battery charger. What I'm going to be using is the repair function. So let's give it a shot. All right, to do this test, what I'm going to be doing is uh, first I'm going to disconnect the battery from my car so that way there is uh, there's no way that I can hurt my car from the repair function that the charger is going to be doing because I believe it's going to be pulsing higher voltage and I don't want that to be going through the circuitry of my car as well. I don't know if I need to do that, but it makes me feel a lot better. But before I start the test, I'm going to be using this Top Dawn battery tester so, uh, so we can see results before and after the, the repair. So. Uh, Let's go ahead and get this battery out of here. Actually, I'm not gonna take it out, I'm just gonna disconnect it. There's no reason to lift it out. All right, now that I got the battery disconnected, let's go ahead and use this uh, Top Dawn battery tester to find out our initial results. It's five o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time, uh, and I got home around 4, 4.30. So let's just say that the battery has been uh, resting for about a half hour. Okay, the tester is on, and we're just going to do a battery test. It's an AGM, CCA, and the cold cranking ads are 600. And I don't know if you can see this, I had a problem last time, but it says, help, let me just go ahead and print this off and I will show it on the screen. But it says that the health is 10%, the cold cranking amps are 189, the charge is at 85%, so it's 12.5. 5, 1 volts. Internal resistance is 13.1 milliohms. So let's go ahead and take this off. Let's plug in our battery tester. Or, I'm sorry. Let's plug in our battery charger. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and set it to 20 amps, but I really don't know if that matters much because I'm going to be setting it to repair mode. I read over the documentation on this a little bit. And from what I've seen, you're not supposed to run it for longer than 24 hours, which I, I believe, that just, I think that's ridiculous. So what my initial test for this is going to be is I'm going to do this repair for uh, two hours. I'm going to do it from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. And we'll see what the results are with our, uh, with our battery tester after this two-hour repair. Okay, the repair has started, and uh, that's kind of what the screen see if I can get a good view of it let's see there we go and here's what the screen shows when you're repairing it looks like it says PUL uh, and it shows the uh, the battery kind of going up and down the the percentages and then on the bottom it says uh, REP for probably repair I'm gonna go ahead and let this run for two hours I really hope it doesn't cook my battery up because I need to drive my car tomorrow <laughs> well but we'll see what the top dawn battery tester says uh, probably a half hour after the battery uh, is done with its two hour repair because I wanted to I want to let it settle just like it settled like I said <laughs> Uh, I want the battery to settle for about a half hour before we do the test again so that way I feel like our results uh, will be a little bit more accurate. Okay, it is now 6 o'clock so we've been repairing this battery for one hour and nothing has changed. There's no sounds, I don't hear any sizzling or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a multimeter to this because I want to kind of see if, if, I can, if I can actually capture what this thing is doing. Okay, so I'm just going to put these probes right on the posts. And it looks like it's going up. Looks like it's just kind of fluctuating. It's going down to 13.46 and then it's going up to... thirteen point four. 13.5 looks like about 13.56 so it's just kind of fluctuating between 
6 and a 13.56, which I don't feel like that really would do anything. Maybe that's, maybe it's, it's because my battery isn't so damaged. But I will run it for another hour and we'll see what kind of results we get. It has been two hours and this is still running. Um, again, there are no sounds or anything coming from the battery. It's not like bubbling or smoking or anything like that. Let's go ahead and put a multimeter on there and see what that displays. All right, again, I'm gonna put them around on the posts. And now the voltage is going up to 15. The voltage is at 15.1, 15.1, and it looks like it's going up to 15.2, 15.22 maybe. So that's, that's pretty high, actually. That's a lot higher than I thought it would be. So after two hours, that's, uh, that's pretty good. So I don't know if I should if I should do it for another hour, because I don't, I honestly don't know if this thing will turn off when it senses that it's repaired or if it'll just keep going. I'm gonna try to find some uh, documentation on this and I'll let you know. But uh, for now, I think I'm gonna let it run for another hour, so until eight o'clock. And we'll see what happens from there. Okay, well, I found some. Uh, information online and it looks like what the seller says what Hasido says is that it takes around 24 hours to repair a battery so I mean two to three hours probably isn't going to do much so I'm actually going to let this run for a little over 12 hours because I'm going to let it run overnight and I will probably turn it off around six o'clock tomorrow morning uh, if it's not turned off already because also, it does say that if it does repair the battery, the charger will turn itself off and just trickle charge after that. So, uh, yeah, I will leave it on until 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. So that will be roughly 13 hours that this thing has been repairing. And uh, we'll go from there. So I'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay, well, it's now the next day. Uh, it's right around probably 6.15 in the morning. So uh, this battery charger repair has been on my car battery for uh, over 13 hours. And when I came down in here, here's what it says. It shows end. So uh, let's go ahead and disconnect it and do a I guess do, uh, let, let's use a multimeter first to see what our voltage is because I don't know, I don't know how long it's been resting. I'm guessing it's been resting for at least a half hour, if not several hours. So let's do a voltage check. And our voltage shows 12.65. Next, we're gonna go ahead and do, uh, we're gonna use the top don and we're gonna, going to do a battery test to see if our results are better. Okay, well, the Top Dawn finished its uh, test, and here are the results. In the initial test, um, I got a charge of 85%. Uh, the voltage was 12.51, and the health was 10%. The measured uh, cold cranking amps was 189, and the internal resistance was 13.1 milliohms. The test after the 13-hour repair uh, we have a charge of 100%, voltage is 12.68 volts, health is 14%, so the tester still says I should replace my battery. Uh, cold cranking amps are 224, so it looks like it went up around um, about 35 cranking amps. So, uh, you know, that's, that's only about, uh, what, a little over 5% of of the total cranking amps of the battery of increase. So, um, and then internal resistance is 11.07 milliohms. So it, it did repair the battery somewhat. It sure didn't bring it back to, you know, 100%. It, it, probably, it probably gave me about another 
couple of weeks of use, I would say. But it does work. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up my car and we'll start it up and see if it if it just uh, you know kicks right up because uh, last time I tried to start it, it barely cranked over. That's what made me decide to do this test to begin with. All right, well, let's go ahead and see how she starts up. I must say that is a vast improvement from the last time I tried to start my car. Um, it started up without any issues. So I would say um, if you have a battery charger that has a repair function and you're starting to notice your battery is uh, getting on the weak side, go ahead and use it. This Hasido charger, uh, it, it did the repair and it shut itself off when it felt like it was done. I got no qualms about that I and mean, it worked exactly the way that it should. Uh, if you guys have any questions about it, please leave them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.